Side fam, welcome back to my channel, Side Tech. In today's video, I'll try to uh, compare the green tint issue or comparison between all of these four smartphones which I got right now, as you can see, friends. So before I did upload plenty of videos on the green tint, and this video is going to be something kind of special because uh, in this video we did receive a couple of updates in other devices as well. But let's see, will that update fix the green tint issue problem which is happening or not? So right now, out of these four smartphones which we got right now, iQOO 3, iQOO 7, Realme X1 Max, and Mi 11X device, so two phones they do have the green tint problem. So iQOO 7 and the Mi Linux device. These two phones, not all the phones, but only few units, they do have this kind of a green tint issue is going on in this iQ7 and the Mi Linux device. Let's focus on those two phones particularly more, but let's even include the other phones as well. I try to compare side by side. So let's see how well other phones they look and how well this uh, iQ7 and Mi Linux, these two phones they look. That is what my main motive of making this video. So in case if you want more details in terms of the green tint issue, try to check this videos friends or just type in the YouTube green tint site where you will get all the videos which are uploaded before and what's the problem. So this basically information I'm trying to give you not for the views, I'm trying to give you basically as a proof. In case if you are interested to know more details, you can definitely check those videos. First, the green tint problem can be visible in a very rare condition. So for example, you need to decrease the very low brightness and try to keep in the dark mode and try to turn off the surrounding lights. Only then the green tint will be visible in these two phones in day-to-day -day usage you won't feel any green tint yes only at the dark mode and night mode situation only at that scenarios you will be able to see the green tint problem and this green tint issue can be fixed with the software update as well but still the software update has not come to fix this kind of green tint issue in these two phones that is what uh, right now i was really um, worried so let's see what will happen first let me need to put all the phone four smartphones in the dark mode and open the google chrome incognite mode that's what uh, that's where we can actually see the difference so right now all the four smartphones are completely in the green uh, dark mode itself as you can see dark mode i did enable in all the four smartphones and in case if you feel my videos are really helpful and if you want me to uh, buy more and more phones so kindly do uh, donate some amount for this number which is given here as you can see phone pay gp and paytm and already few of the subscribers that did uh, donate me friends this is my first day asking this kind of donations because i need to buy more phones so right now i don't get any kind of uh, review units at this point that is the reason so i thought of buying more and more phones uh, in the future as well so I'm just planning to buy the OnePlus Nord 2 and other Realme GT and maybe the Poco F3 as well. A lot of users that did ask me to buy this kind of mobile phones. That is the reason I'm asking for your donations. So until I get the review units, I need to depend upon the, this kind of uh, donations, friends. That is the reason I thought of just keeping my number. So where sometimes even I do regret of not buying some phones, especially. Right now, let me need to put in the dark mode other phones as well. Yes, perfect in the dark mode. Yes, so right now all the phones are in perfectly in the dark mode situation itself. Let me just slightly increase the brightness and show you if you can see any kind of green tint problem or not. So somewhere around you should be able to see the green tint problem. Let me just keep all the phones side and show you somewhere. Slightly I'm trying to adjust this kind of uh, brightness then you will be able to see one more thing in the iQ7 device So there is a setting which is available particularly which is the battery saver mode If you try to enable that battery saver mode some people they did mention that the green tint issue is not that visible Particularly in this iQ7 device that is what uh, some of the users they did mention That's what I'm going to uh, show you as you can see right now you will be able to see some kind of green tint Sometimes when I try to uh, show the focus so because of the background lighting condition, I think so. That is the reason you are not able to see properly. Let me try to turn off. Now you will be see, able to see only in the one phone as you can see now. Now you can slightly see it a little bit. Slightly increase the brightness and show you. As you can see, now you can see the exactly green tint problem what is happening. This side, this green tint is going on. And let me just show you the lock screen. In the lock screen, you will be able to see the lock screen green tint. So if you try to, if you try to disable the fingerprint scanner, so if you don't use any kind of fingerprint scanner, then you won't see any kind of green tint. Yes. So right now I did disable the fingerprint scanner, but if you try to use the fingerprint scanner, you will be able to see the green tint issue on the lock screen as well in the IQ sound device. That is what uh, one thing which I thought of just mentioning for you all. So this is the IQ uh, 3 device which I'm trying to use right now. IQ 3, let me try to uh, show you. So right now slightly low brightness and some kind of green tint somewhere around here, but it's not that much big, I would say. Somewhere around here, I can definitely see a little bit kind of green tint. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to notice in this video or not. Now let's move to the next phone, which is a Realme X1 Max. In the Realme X1 Max, let's see what will happen. As you can see, there's no spot for the green tint, nothing. I'm not, I cannot see any kind of green tint in the Realme X1 Max, no issues, that's perfectly fine. Let's move to the next phone, which is a Mi 11X device. Mi 11X device, yes, we do, we can actually see 
as you can see friends how much green tint you can just see this kind of green tint when i'm trying to change the color you can see the green tint transformation how it's happening gray and suddenly it becomes kind of green as you can see clearly green it's becoming you can clearly see friends the green tint issue around this on this top so this is what is happening in the mi linux device particularly so right now in the mi linux and iq7 people they will be able to face this kind of issues only in the few units and software update uh, should be able to fix this kind of issue but i'm not sure when they will be able to fix that issue as you can see not the transformation you can just notice this kind of change as you can see friends now gray and yes exactly in this kind of brightness in this brightness level you will be able to see this kind of green green is kind of color as you can see this is what lot of people they are really worried about the green tint problem in the iq7 device so there's another application which is a screen test pro application as well which will be able to demonstrate you the green tint problem clearly so now you'll be able to see the green tint issue what is happening by using this one as you can see you can see the green line which is not which is which should not be happen in uh, any smartphone like right now let me try to open the iq3 and show you exactly the same application i'm trying to open in this phone as well and try to show you same graph same graph i'll try to show you in the iq3 and you won't see any green tint i think as you can see you can see the comparison how it is you can see the green you can see friends the green tint here and same application i'll try to open in the realme x1 max let me try to open in the realme x1 max i just want to show you all the proof in one single video so you should not have any kind of other con conclusion and uh, other confusions let me just show you this is the graph as you can see this is the graph this is how it, how it should look but you are seeing the green tint this line exactly it's not gray it's green in the iq3 and this is not a major problem i would say it's not a big problem but just because a lot of users they, they did ask me to upload a video on this topic that is the reason i, I uploaded this video friends otherwise it's not bothering me at all so i'm not uh, particularly highlighting this point i'm just uh, trying to clarify the doubts what other users are actually having as you can see the mi linux device mi linux same graph you can see the green tint level how much it is high you can see the level increased you can see actually more green in the mi linux than the iq7 device you can clearly see friends the difference in this one single graph you will be able to see it perfectly as you can see perfectly done in one single graph so friends uh, this is a final conclusion about the green tint issue now you got to understand that which phone has got what type of how much level green tint so slightly the green tint is higher in the mi linux device in my unit in my unit i am trying to specifically say again so slightly higher in the mi linux device i am trying to notice and in the iq7 uh, device little bit kind of green tint is there existing still but we need to wait for the software update maybe to get it fixed so in case if you have the chance of replacing try to replace the unit because some users they did uh, comment on my videos that after replacing the other unit was completely fine there is no green tint and flickering so that is the reason i thought of just advising you few people who are actually having the time try to replace the phone as soon as possible to get it certified so thank you friends for watching this video and in case if you have any other queries regarding the smartphones and don't forget to comment below definitely i'll be able to help you out and uh, in case if you uh, like this videos and if my videos are really helpful for you to decide which phone to buy so make sure to donate a little bit kind of money to my phone number friends that will be really helpful to buy the other phones as i said so right now i need to buy more and more phones and compare with the, all these phones together that is what my main motive is so until i receive the review units you are my uh, people you are my source so that is what uh, i was expecting from you a little bit and thank you for all who are donated and thank you for watching this video friends and see you in the next video until then stay tuned for more updates until then bye